This might be the most fun name for a design trend. Japandi is an interior hybrid between Japanese and Scandinavian design influences. They do both seem quite different and geographically quite far apart, but they also share some common design elements such as simplicity and minimalism, harmony with nature and a respect for craftsmanship. They're not sparse, they're intentional. Japanese design is defined by rustic minimalism with sleek and functional elements. Japandi is also really influenced by the Scandinavian principle of huga, which focuses on how our interior spaces can actually enhance our well-being. While Japanese interiors lean towards rich and saturated earthy tones such as plums and burgundies, Scandinavian colours are more located in the softer side of the colour spectrum, so pastels and lighter neutrals. Beiges, torps, sandy tones and oatmeals are absolutely perfect. Both styles do use black accents and this helps to anchor the space and provide points of punctuation. But just be careful not to have too much black because you don't want this look to be grating or jarring. Where possible, use only natural materials such as paper, linen, cotton and rattan. Wood is perhaps the defining material of Japandi. Traditionally, Japanese design uses a lot of stained or painted timbers, whereas Scandinavian design focuses on lighter timber tones and blonde wood. Feel free to mix and match different timber tones, but be sure to avoid more than three different timbers in the same space. We want the look to feel grounded rather than eclectic. Less is more, so opt for quality over quantity. Items that look like they've been made by hand, such as rustic earthenware or glazed pottery, works perfectly in the Japandi style. Try to mix earthier colours and tones with something sleeker to get that refined but rustic look. Be sparing with plants, going for styles with finer leaves and pairing with rustic pots. We also want to avoid overly embellished geometric patterns. If you are after something that's a little more interesting, you could opt for a traditional Japanese pattern such as shibori. Because both styles call for form and function, opt for furniture pieces that are beautiful but also work as storage pieces. That way you can hide the clutter when everyone comes to visit. Japandi has been around a little while, however this trend is emerging as one that is long lasting and timeless. We love Japandi as a style because it creates a calming and welcoming atmosphere where connection with nature and loved ones is really important.